you know, we just want to make sure that we continue to inspire women to live a healthier and fuller life. And the beautiful thing about fitness is that there is no one perfect body and your body is never just right, right? We, this is a continuous journey that you can change. There's ups and downs and you can always just continue to grow uh, together with us. Hi, baby boy. Hey, my name is Talia Joel. I am a content creator and a online coach, and I currently live in Florida. Who am I? I'm her, just kidding. My name is Ariel Patterson. I am one half of Body by TNA. I'm a third year medical student in the Army Reserves, fitness coach and wellness enthusiast. So I was actually a military brat, and for a very long time, me and my family lived out in Hawaii. I was actually a really tall kid for a majority of my life. Like being 5'7 at 11 is insane and just everyone else around me was really small and because of that, I've always felt like the bigger friend growing up. Once I finally moved back to the mainland, I actually discovered Chick-fil-A for the first time. I ended up gaining like 50 pounds in like three months and it was really hard, especially always feeling like that bigger friend. It ended up being one of those things where I was constantly working out, trying to get the weight off, but I had really poor eating habits, and obviously I was working at this job where the food was just immaculate. That's initially kind of what got me started into fitness. Like, I really couldn't get past that next level, and I had one of those almond moms who was like, oh, like, you know, if you lose, like, five pounds here, 10 pounds there, like, you'll just do so well, and it just kept kind of, you know, I love my mom, shout out to my mother, but uh, it just kind of eats away at you a little bit, and it was one of those things where I, got into doing some pretty unhealthy stuff to lose a lot of weight and that's kind of what kicked off my fitness journey I guess and then obviously like when I went to college like everything changed. I started off in dance when I was five like everyone else but I didn't really like it so my mom took me out and put me into soccer and once I started soccer I played soccer from eight years old all the way to the collegiate level. After that I stopped playing soccer my sophomore year of college. Do something cool. Oh hey hey. <laughs> So I kind of transitioned over from like playing sports for fun to doing fitness for training, I guess. <laughs> and that's kind of around the time when I realized that like, oh, I've been kind of doing sports and working out for all these years, but I don't really look how all the other people look who are in fitness. And so then I started getting into like nutrition and learning a little bit more about that. And since I was a biology major in college, I just kind of took what I was learning there and kind of put it together with what I was doing outside and then hence me today. So I've wanted to be a doctor since I was like eight. I guess I mean, it's also when I started playing soccer. But I would say that my fitness and gut health issues have more shaped like the specialty, the type of medicine I want to practice. But I've kind of switched over from like, I wanted to be an ortho surgeon, honestly, at first, but now I want to go into PNMR, physical medicine and rehabilitation, and kind of just incorporate everything that I know in, into one specialty. The moment that made me take fitness seriously was I was competing on my track team and I really wanted to make it to states and I was the only jumper in on my team who made it to regionals so I was really excited because I was like oh my god like I'm really about to do this like I'm really about to you know I don't know make a name for myself I was a kid so of course I'm sitting here thinking that like maybe I'm going to the Olympics but I, uh, I ended up not making it. I scratched every jump. Yeah, I just was fed up. Like I just wasn't making it and I felt like my health was like a really big component for why I wasn't making it. And then that's kind of what really got me into, you know, harden the pain. After my sophomore year of college, I got out of like a bad uh, relationship, you know, like, you know, that post breakup glow, if you will. That's what I was trying to go for. So after my sophomore year, I just, I was in, um, Massachusetts actually doing a research internship and just decided to take my fitness a lot more seriously like actually track my calories track how much protein I was eating go to the gym every day do cardio every day just to kind of see what I could do and then after that it honestly just got fun so then I just kind of kept going after my sophomore year of college I was doing great and then my junior year that's when I met Talia and so then I we were locked in we met in college at Hampton University. I was a junior and she was a freshman. So we met in our ROTC program and basically after PT one morning, we were in the cafeteria eating breakfast and I just saw her just like by herself, you know, with her little tray. And so I was like, oh, come here little girl, like come eat breakfast with me. I had already gone through like two previous friendship groups that just didn't work and I just, it was weird that she was coming up to me in my opinion. And so like I, I went to go sit with her, but uh, 
she didn't kind of, she never left me alone, to be honest. So then that's how we became friends. And then she told me, actually, I just got kicked out of my friend group. And I'm really, really, really glad that you decided to take me under your wing. And I was like, honestly, me too. And that's how we became. <laughs> she ended up coming down to my house uh, for me to do her hair. And then, I, which I thought was weird because she lives like an hour away from me. She drove during winter break for me to come and do her hair. And I couldn't braid at the time. So she left with her hair looking awful. Felt bad about that. I tried to make it look as good as possible, but like, I just, I, I don't know the cornrow. And then we went back to, to school the next semester and it was like we were attached to the hip. It was weird finding someone that literally matched my energy and my vibe so much. Like we're sitting there pre-gaming, listening to Disney adolescent bops. And I'm just like, damn, I really found my person. And then when it came to fitness and stuff like that, like we kind of like decided to start doing fitness, like and taking it serious together. And we would literally meal prep at her friend's house. When you and someone else don't know something together, like, I don't know, it just makes it easier, I guess, to learn. Like you don't feel so hopeless. And it made this process and this journey so much easier when you don't feel like you're struggling alone because there are gonna be struggles. And obviously like in doing that and having that experience and that journey, I gained a lifelong friend that I will forever see in my life. And I'm so grateful to have that. <laughs> if you don't see the value in a friend who is willing to call you out like when you're wrong or when you need to be the best version of yourself then that's not your friend. We went through a lot of ups and downs with that because I didn't want to accept the fact that maybe I had a lot of growing to do. If it wasn't for her, she would not inspire me or empower me to work on myself the way that I have. And honestly, like a lot of the success that we've had in this space wouldn't be here if it wasn't for someone like that. So thanks bud. Yeah. It's really nice to have like a friend uh, who looks like this, right? So it's always inspiring for me to stay on, stay on what I got going on, right? Yeah. Another thing that makes us both feel really empowered is our community. Like, especially since we kind of started the fitness page as I was kind of getting through my gut health issues and it's so empowering for people to be like, oh my God, like we see the cut, like we see the changes, we see how far you've come, we're so proud of you. I'm just like, Ugh. I think like what we said earlier about like you feeling alone in this space, like, and then us realizing that like there are so many other women that feel the exact same way we do, that in and in itself has like inspired us to kind of keep going a little bit because I have talked to like, I, you know, obviously like we do online coaching and stuff like that. And I have literally talked to hundreds of different women who are all going through the same thing. And they literally do not believe me when I tell them that they are not alone in this space. And in them telling me that and being open and transparent, it helps inspire us and empower us a little bit more in this space to be more vocal and transparent about that. Like I'm talking to girls from Brazil, Brazil, shout out to my Brazilian girls. EHP has helped both of us achieve our fitness goals just by the pure quality of their their products like yeah. yes obviously we promote them but like we use those supplements every single day i'm taking glutamine and l-carnitine in the morning i've got protein shake yeah. creatine and i remember when ehp had finally reached out to us me and ariel were flipping out because obviously like we see the people that inspire us working with this company and obviously we have trust in them as creators and then for this company to reach out to us and want us to you know preach and promote and support i just like was in actual shock it's been beautiful yeah. since and and obviously like we've been able to meet so many amazing people in this space where specifically I'm just, like, the women specifically you guys amazing the women athletes <laughs> the my favorite experience with uh ehp labs was our miami trip to for the ghostbusters collab that was honestly absolutely amazing we got to meet all all of the beautiful ladies on that trip, the other uh, athletes that were there, and just kind of get a behind the scenes uh, look into the company. Because normally when you're working with a supplement company, you're normally just working like with your one manager and that was it. So you don't really know anything about anyone else or what the brand really stands for at its core. And so it was really nice being able to meet like the entire team and just kind of really connect and know, okay, they like, they are actually really cool and they like us. So that means we must be really cool too, so. <laughs> and I think the other thing with it too is that like, obviously like being a creator in this space, like you can feel so small sometimes. And when a brand really takes uh, initiative to make you feel as valued as you know you should feel, it, it means a lot. Cause there's, there's so many different, you know, companies to work out there with and there's so many different creators out there. And 
to really feel like you have that personal connection with a brand and it's more than just okay like here we're doing this and here's this deliverable here and this deliverable there but it's like okay you are actually taking care of us right now and we're getting to meet other people that you're taking care of and you get to kind of leave those spaces knowing that like they really mess with yeah, us. Yeah, they really they really with us. us. Yeah. I remember feeling like we made it though. No, I literally I was, was like, like we made it. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, there isn't just one EHP product that I couldn't live without. Like I kind of need my stack, you know, I need my whole stack. Definitely need the creatine. I don't miss a single smoothie, right? That OxyWay, that Isopept, she can tell you. I've probably had a smoothie every morning for 6 years. And Oxy Shred Energy, like I definitely need that. Like I said, I'm in medical school and I don't drink coffee, so most of the times I'm going straight off vibes. And so when I start going down, I need that Oxy Shred Energy uh, to pick me up. Definitely the Oxy Shred Energy and the creatine, like that has been in my routine for the past like two years at this point. A crispy Oxy Shred in the morning, sip on it, listen to my audiobook, head to the gym, and it's like a constant gym routine that like I'm like yes, like I just feel great. <laughs> Same. And I think what I love so much about EHP is that they have such a variety of supplements. Oh God, yes. And so it's like, depending on what part of my fitness journey, I can choose something different. I think, I think EHP, like, all in all, is like a one-stop shop. And that I can appreciate. You don't have to go to a million different other websites to get exactly what you need to be successful in the space that you're trying to occupy. There's, there's going to be people out there who are going to promote stuff that they don't truly rock behind. But, like, I can tell you this from the bottom of our heart that, like, these products are just like a part of our lifestyle now. Just, just like fitness, just like working out, like, you know, our routines or her being in medical school, it is a part of the life that we've chosen to live. And I promise you have excelled our path and our journey in this space so much. Like, I've been taking creatine for the past three years. Like, I have not missed a scoop. So where I see me and Ariel, the TNA group, the gang going forward is, honestly, I'm not even gonna lie guys, like we weren't expecting to be in this space in such a short amount of time. And for a really long time, like this was the overarching goal. And it's like, now that we're here, I'm like, this is just the beginning. Like we're just touching the surface of it. And so I'm excited to see how much we can inspire other people in this space and just continue to build this strong community of women who are having fun and they feel supportive and they're being open and transparent about how they're feeling. Me coming from the medical side and her coming from like the kinesiology background, those are two fields that should be really interconnected that really just aren't. So I like I would really, really hope in the future that we can kind of create that space where people can come. Like, yes, okay, we get it, you want a flat stomach and a big booty, but like also like we want to care about your yeah. cholesterol and your like in your heart and stuff like that. Just kind of have somewhere where you can get everything that you need to live a better, healthier, longer life. And the beautiful thing about fitness is that there is no one perfect body or and your body's never just right right we, this is a continuous journey that you can change there's ups and downs and you can always just continue to grow uh, together i think i just feel like we're both really excited to see where this journey takes us